In this video, I'll explain how a three-stage PCP pump works. Before we dive into the mechanical animation, let's look at an exploded view of its parts with labels, for better understanding. Now, let's see the cross-sectional view. The pump consists of three tubes and three pistons. The first and third pistons are movable, while the second piston is fixed in place. In this annular space, there's air left from the previous cycle. While pulling the handle, the rubber ball allows air to fill large chamber of the first tube. The O-rings on the second piston also act as a check valve. They move slightly to block air from flowing backward into the first tube. As the first piston moves, the air gets compressed and flows into the third tube through these holes. This is the second stage of compression, shown in purple. The third piston rod also moves with the handle. This piston includes a seal, o-ring, washer, and a spring. While pulling the handle, the seal opens the airway, allowing air to flow into the left portion of third tube. While pushing the handle down, the rubber ball closes the inlet, and the o-rings on the second piston move slightly. This allows air to flow into the annular space between the first and second tubes through small cuts on the second piston. This is the first stage of compression. This moderately pressurized air then enters the right side of the third tube, where the space is expanding. At this point, the seal on the third piston closes, and the third stage of compression takes place in the left portion of the third tube. Finally, the high-pressure outlet valve opens, releasing the compressed air into the cylinder of the PCP air gun. To summarize, while pulling the handle, the second compression occurs and the first tube gets filled with fresh air. While pushing the handle down, the first and third compressions take place.